Thank you so much, Stephanie. And I, I really want to thank all of you for being here. Of course, my colleagues on the City Commission, um, Commissioner Reyes uh, for being here, and Commissioner Gabela for also being here. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of this. And, and before thanking Travis for bringing his event to Miami, I want to thank Dana. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's got an amazing event, and I know it's not what this is about today, but tomorrow, where we're going to shatter some more records, uh, last year's records, or the last event's records of a $12 million gate with a $14 million gate. And, you know, Miami is what it is because of people like Dana White, because people believe in us, they believe in what we're trying to do, they believe in this country, and they believe, uh, you know, in Miami and what we built. And so I'm just very grateful. Uh, you know, unfortunately in government, they don't say thank you. We usually just put up roadblocks. <laughs> and that's not the way that, that it's supposed to be. And that's not our philosophy here. Um, so, you know, Nitro Cross is an incredible event that's gonna be held at an iconic venue in the city of Miami. If you haven't been there, it's, uh, it's going to be a renovated stadium, which is not in this particular moment. And maybe in the future, you can do it on the water, which would be really cool if we do something with the water there. But uh, we've spent tens of millions of dollars, believe it or not, in infrastructure, just getting uh, the venue where you're gonna have the Nitro Cross event ready for major events. We've had massive events there, 100,000 uh, square feet events uh, at that location. And uh, it's gonna be extremely exciting uh, to see this event uh, outdoors, which is really cool. And I don't know if you're doing something to, to, to make it indoors, but um, it's gonna be an incredible event. Um, thank you so much uh, for, for sponsoring this, for being a part of it, for bringing it to our city. It's the fourth event of this series, or fourth race of the series. And it's another world-class event that's happening in our community. Um, it can't happen without the support of our commissioners. It can't happen without the support of our residents and without the support of people like you, Travis, uh, and Dana believing in us. And so I just want to say thank you again. Um, and we're going to do everything we can to help make it a success. Government, unfortunately, like I said, oftentimes is getting in the way or is creating imped impediments. And we don't view ourselves that way. We see ourselves as fa facilitators. We see ourselves as ideators and dreamers like you. And we want to make sure that um, our values of loving what this country is about are what we project. And when you project that, people believe in it and buy into it and then invest in it. And that's, uh, that's what's made it successful. So thank you so much. And I look forward to, to seeing it this January. It's going to be exciting. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a way to, to, to begin the, the new year. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, you know, Commissioner Gabela, would you like to share a few words as well? I mean, what, what a story, your story, Dana. Uh, I've been in business all my life, and I, I love, uh, you know, entrepreneurs and, and people like you that just started out with nothing and turned that into, you know, what you've turned it into. And uh, I just want to say thank you for coming to, to Miami. Uh, you know, uh, you bring revenues. Uh, it's good for, for all. And uh, I thank you for what you do. I, uh, <laughs> if there's anything my office can do for you, uh, please. But uh, what a story you guys have, and uh, you should be proud of yourselves. Thank you very much for being down here. Well, Mr. Mayor, we must be doing something right. <laughs> uh, and I'm real proud of being part of this government because we have so many people coming and visiting us and I want to do their events here in Miami and uh, we welcome you with open arms. And uh, what here, we are here, just as our Mayor said, we are here to help. To help that uh, every time that uh, anybody wants to come to our city, we are going to be supporting you and trying to make this city as uh, as uh, welcoming as uh, as uh, it should be. It, it should be. I am very proud. I'm very glad that this event is going to take place in here. And thank you very much for picking Miami. As you can see, the, all the leadership it, it is behind you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your leadership and, and trying to bring everything. I mean. Uh, make Miami a destination point for everybody that wants to have a good time, good weather, and a beautiful view. You see? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, 
Yeah, thank all of you. Honestly, uh, the city of Miami, you guys are awesome. You're becoming the motorsports action sports hub in the U.S. You got offshore power. You got F1. Uh, I mean, you got UFC. This morning, I flew out from uh, Baltimore, and half my flight was filled with uh, with everyone going to the UFC and just excited to come down here. Uh, one guy was on his honeymoon. I'm like, how do you talk me into doing that? Like, because it's Miami. Because we can go to the coolest things on earth, and we can bring the family. We can have fun. Like, you guys know how to do it. When we shot uh, the biggest, uh, our Jim Connor film, they said, where do you want to go? And, uh, you know, after everything was going on with, with COVID and everything was coming out, we said, we got to go to Florida. And we were all over this area. I tell you what, the, the government, the police, the fire, all the first responders, everyone is into motorsports. They're into being outside. They're into having fun. And I feel like that is why this is going to be so successful here. My family is excited to come down here. We have an awesome venue, we have awesome support, and this is gonna be an amazing race. For those of you that don't know anything about Nitro Cross, it is basically motocross with the roll cage. So we're taking racing where everyone is just trying to go out there and win, but there's not that much excitement in just driving. And we're getting the drivers fired up. We have F1 world champion came over to do a race. We have Indy winners. We have NASCAR champions. I mean, Kyle Busch, we've got Daytona 500 champions, all paying. They get paid $50 million to go do their sport. They come over to do our sport because it's the most fun. It's the most exciting. And to be here in Miami is where we want to be. So thank you all. And it's going to be a hell of a ride. Well, thank you all for the kind words and thank you for your support. Um, you know, I keep telling you every time I come down here how Miami's just exploding. It's one of the hottest cities in the country. And, um, you know, we, we have a, a huge platform now with, with lots of different events from UFC, WWE, Nitro Cross. We own Ridiculousness, Power Slap, which uh, my guys are right now sitting down with the Athletic Commission getting sanctioned here in the state of Florida. We'll, br we'll bring one of those events down here. We own Nitro Circus. Um, and SLS Skate League. So Miami is, is without a doubt one, one, of the, one of the greatest cities in, in the country right now. This place is booming. Uh, last year, we, uh, the last event that we did here, like the mayor said, we did a $12 million gate, and we had a $47.7 million economic impact on the city of Miami. So um, this is what we want to continue to do. We want to continue to bring big events to this unbelievable city, and I can't thank you enough for your support and I'm looking forward to the next couple of years. Thank you, guys.